What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with High Priestess Intuition. Um, this is a reading for Sign of Scorpio for mid-April of 2022. I know I've already done Scorpios um, for mid-April of 2022. I've only done four of the 12 signs, but I heard uh, do Scorpio again this morning as I was meditating on the energy. So uh, I'm doing Scorpios again. Um, it is what it is. I mean, apparently uh, I need to do another one, so I am. So um, this is for Scorpio. This could resonate if you have Scorpio in any aspects of your charts. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North, Node, Moon, Haven, or Jupiter charts. Don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, let it apply. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate and leave the rest. Um, thanks everybody for all the love and support to the channel. You guys are just the bestest. I love and appreciate each and every one of you guys. If you'd like to donate, it's, um, High Priestess Tarot 5. The link's in the description box below. PayPal only. No cash out, no Venmo. Um, it's a very private, confidential way to donate if you'd like to donate. Like I said, this could resonate if you have Scorpio in any aspects of your charts. Um, happy Easter, uh, Easter. Happy Easter weekend, everybody. Just to let everybody know. Um, just saying, just saying. Okay. So um, the channel message I received, um, there was a couple of them I received after I heard do Scorpio. <clears throat> and um, hold on. spirit messages, but spirit messages you have to sign Scorpio. Um, and the first one I heard was, um, a Scorpio Feminine's, um, music career is about to take off. I heard one particular song, um, very soon and very quickly. And then I heard, um, a Scorpio Masculine's song that blew up on the internet hugely is about to, um, is about to yield him no profit. Um, it's about to actually go very opposite very quickly. And um, he, he thinks he's going to have huge success there, but he will not. So um, two opposite spectrums on the music career side, whoever these people are. It's a Scorpio femme and a Scorpio masculine. Spirit messages you have to sign a Scorpio. Um, one Scorpio femme sounds like her music career is about to take off. Um, I didn't hear what age she was or anything like that, but... It sounds like one particular song and other songs. It sounds like after that one primary song. So congrats to whoever you are, Scorpio Feminine. And a Scorpio Masculine, it sounds like the song has already took off. Um, it sounds like it's already was hugely popular. It just took, I heard it took off on the internet. So I'm presuming he has some kind of sub, um, public social media platform that he uh, promoted the song on. And it took off. Uh, it sounds like it took off quickly and hugely, but I heard um, he thinks he's going to profit and be hugely successful off of it and, you know, build his career off of it is what it sounds like. Um, but I heard it's actually about to tank, um, tank. So, like, it sounds like he's gotten views, 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 views for it, like huge views. Um, but it sounds like people don't like the song anymore or they're about not like the song or songs. It sounds like one primary song. Um, and it's about to tank down and it doesn't sound like he's going to be successful if he tries other songs, um, is what it sounds like here, but you plug it in how it resonates, but it's two completely different Scorpios in the universe. One film sounds like her career, music career is about to take off in a positive way. One Scorpio masculine, he, he, I think he thought his career was about to piggyback off that song that did so great. Um, but it sounds like it's about to go down hugely. So you plug it in how it resonates. Hugely, hugely spirit messages you have reflected for Scorpio. I heard hugely, hugely is what I just heard. Wow. So you plug it in how it resonates. Um, whoever these people are. Um, also I heard, um, a Scorpio masculine has a public platform. Um, he has been very, 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 very successful with his public platform. However, what he speaks on his public platform is not what his social, um, his uh, private life, social private life um, entails. And it's about to turn around and um, bite him in the butt soon. So you plug it in, how it resonates. Um, that might be the same Scorpio masculine with that song or a different Scorpio masculine. You have to plug these people in your life, however they resonate, if they do resonate for you. Um, 
but it's he has whoever this person is okay some one of you guys is very emotional about a situation or somebody's emotional about you scorpio because these cards just flew everywhere um or you have addictions or you're dealing with somebody with addictions because that could signify both realms so you plug it in how it resonates and out of all those cards that flew, oh, okay, we have table, so we'll take table. Um, but um, so it sounds like he has this public platform. I heard he's been very successful in his public platform. He might be a, I'm feeling he might be a public speaker. He might be a, um, I'm feeling a public speaker or a reader or um, something of that nature. Something he does on a public platform, he's been very, very, very successful at. Um, but I heard it, basically his private life is about to bite him in the butt because his private life does not coincide, coincide, it sounds like, with his whatever he's putting on his public platform as it sounds like a career or a um, side job or a side hustle or something, however that resonates. It sounds like it's clashing. It sounds like he's speaking one thing or several things or a certain idea or ideals on his public platform, but he does completely different things in the dark behind the scenes in his private personal life. Now, whatever they are, you have to plug these, uh, this person in your life. Do you know this person? Are you connected with this person? Are you, are you this person? Only you know your story, not anybody else. So you plug it in, how it resonates. Spirit messages here, I'm so here. That person is about to experience huge career shifts he's not going to want soon. Oh, my Lord. I heard that person is about to experience huge career shifts he's not going to want soon. So, you plug it in how it resonates. Oh, my Lord. Wow, Scorpio. Holy crap, a moly man. Rat, someone is working against you behind your back. Table, hard work ahead. Fly, a period of ill health and depression. Dear, Lord have mercy. Dear, God. So you plug it in how it resonates. A Scorpio is about to see someone's glow up soon. A Scorpio is about to be very excited. One Scorpio is about to be very excited for this. One Scorpio is going to be very upset. They were working behind the scenes very hard to block this person's success for many years. Oh my Lord. So, dear Lord. So, you plug it in how it resonates. Okay, so we're pulling in some low vibrational Scorpio energy in here. I'm telling you that. But we are pulling in high vibrational Scorpio energy too. The Scorpio femme that's about to be very successful in her music career, it sounds like. Um, but some low vibrational Scorpio masculine energy for sure. So, you plug it in how it resonates. But um, how that resonates. But it's a particular um, femme energy. Uh, one of you guys, one of you Scorpios, masculine or femme, I heard you'll be very happy. I heard she's about to, um, it sounds like she's about to turn her life around or her life is about to be turned around. It sounds like she's about to go up, 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 up. It sounds like it's another sign. It doesn't sound like a Scorpio. Um, it sounds like she is about to experience growth and um, prosperity and all the wonderful positive things that everybody strives for in life. Um, I heard one of you guys is going to be very happy for her. So whether you're masculine or femme, only you know your story, not anybody else. Um, I don't feel it's a Scorpio. I feel somebody else. But for one of you guys, I heard a Scorpio masculine, you have secretly been working um, and, a, and a feminine that takes on heavy masculine energy, Scorpio. And a feminine that takes on heavy masculine energy. So a Scorpio masculine and a Scorpio femme with heavy masculine energy it takes on heavy mas masculine energy. These two people have been working behind this feminine energy's back. It sounds like previous in the past. Um, so I heard for many years they have been whoever these people are. You might know these other Scorpios. This Scorpio femme that takes on heavy masculine and this um, Scorpio masculine. But these two people have been working behind the scenes 
for her many years to try to block her success or try to block her success or maybe they were um putting the evil eye on her or some crap they were um either wishing ill upon her or physically creating blockages for her how that resonates but they were um not wanting her to do well whether they actually created blockages for her not to do well or they were just sending evil intentions and negative energy towards her how that resonates but i heard she is about to start doing well um really well so whoever this feminine energy is and however that applies in one's life Spirit messages you have reflected. Wisdom, generosity. Number 44, 24, 23, or 27 could be very significant numbers in one's life. 44, 24, 23, 27. These could be, could be possible ages of you or somebody you're connected to, possible lottery number, possible day birth number, possible green card number, possible jersey number. 44, 24, 23, 27. A particular Pisces is about to become very significant in a Scorpio's life or some Scorpios in a positive way, some in a negative way. Also a particular Aquarius and Libra. Okay, so um, a um, Aquarius, a Libra, and a um, Pisces is about to become very significant in a Scorpio's life. Um, whoever these people are and how they apply in your life, um, Scorpio, it can be masculine or femme Pisces, masculine or femme Libra, masculine or femme um, Aquarius. They could have um, Aquarius, um, Libra, or Pisces in their Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Ortho, Medium, or Jupiter charts, masculine or femme. I feel it can go either in a positive or a negative aspect, however that resonates in one's life. You plug it in, how it resonates. Okay, let's do the animal spirit cards first. Um, you, We've got fire sign energy and um, water sign energy in here. So um, you could be dealing with Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, or another water sign, another Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. They could have Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, or Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, and their sun, moon, rising, Venus, or Thumb, and Hammer, Jupiter charts, if you are. Panther spirit, reclaim your power. Huge changes coming in many Scorpio's lives. Some in career sector. A lot in career sector. Okay, I heard huge changes coming to many Scorpio's lives. Uh, a lot of you guys, it sounds like, in the career sector. Now, I feel this can go positive or negative. We've got a Scorpio Femmes music career about to take off in a very positive way. And a Scorpio Masculine's music career about to tank down. So, I mean, those are just two I heard in here. But it really can be whatever career sector that is in one's life and however that applies in your life, um, to be honest with you. However that resonates. Um but I heard huge changes coming to many Scorpio's um, career sectors. So that could be positive or negative. So reclaim your power, meaning um, take back your power. Maybe for some, you um, will be looking for other jobs. Maybe for some, you don't feel appreciated or valued or um, or you don't feel, feel like you don't get what you should be getting out of your workplace situation. So you're going to decide to look for another job, possibly, for some. Um, only you know your story, not anybody else. Um, I've done that. I've done that. Um, sometimes you have to do what's best for you, and that's just the truth. So um, reclaim your power. And this could also go to that Scorpio masculine where um, I think he thought that one song was because it blew up so popular. It sounds like it's already done that um, in the universe. I think he thought his music career was going to piggyback off that one very 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 popular song but um this could be him reclaiming his power and figuring out his next step here since it's not going to it doesn't sound like it's going to um turn out that way so you plug it in how it resonates bring your ideas to life
A Scorpio 40 and above is about to come up with a wonderful invention. Life-changing to the world. Some in, in envir environmental, environmentalism, environmentalism. I could hear it, but saying it's a different story. So some is in environmental environmentalism. Say that five times fast. Some is in environmentalism. Some fashion. Holy crap. Wow. So we've got inventor Scorpios in here. But you're 40 and above, if that resonates with you. You're 40 and above Scorpio. Some of you guys, you're about to invent something in fashion, in the fashion arena, in some shape, form, or fashion. It's, it's going to be life-changing for the world. Um, and some, it is um, in environmentalism. But you're 40 and above. Um, your ideas to life would be the, um, I think you're gonna hopefully going to get a patent on these product or products. Um, I wouldn't share them with anybody until you get your patent first. Um, that way nobody can steal your idea. I mean, of course, you can take the advice or leave it. Um, only you are the, you're the only manifestor of your own destiny here. I'm not, I'm not telling you what to do, but I would strongly suggest a patent. Um, that way nobody can steal, steal from you monetarily or idea wise. Um, I mean, I, I'm all about bringing ideas to life and bringing things to the world, but we all know how the world is and they will steal from you in a New York minute. If you don't get your ideas patent, patented, copyrighted, protected in some shape, form or fashion. And this aspect would be patent with the invention. So, um, However, that plugs in and resonates in your life, Scorpio, 40 and above person. Rat, someone is working against you behind your back. Particular legal paperwork is coming for a Scorpio soon. Scorpio masculine, 35 and below. Not positive legal paperwork. A Scorpio is also dealing with the cancer. Okay. Oh. So, um, at least, uh, this is for Scorpio masculine 35 or below. I heard, um, legal, legal paperwork is coming to a particular Scorpio masculine 35 and below. I heard it's not going to be positive legal paperwork. Uh, so it sounds like it's legal paperwork you're not going to want. Um, and one of you guys is dealing with the cancer in some shape, form, or fashion. Now, it could be the cancer that's bringing you this legal paperwork you're not going to like. Um, like, they're precipitating this legal paperwork to you. Or it could be, this cancer could be anybody. It, it could be the person precipitating this legal paperwork to you in a negative sense to you. Or it could be a buddy, a friend, a neighbor, a co-worker, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, whoever this person is. But... Um, you have Libra, Aquarius, um, Libra, Aquarius, um, there was the third one, uh, Libra, Aquarius, Pisces, and Cancer energy you're dealing with, either in a positive scope or negative scope, Libra, Cancer, Aquarius, Cancer, I mean, ah, Libra, Aquarius, um, Pisces, or Cancer, uh, they could have Libra, Aquarius, Pisces, or Cancer, and there's some in Rising, Venus, or could be in Jupiter, um, but in this aspect, I think it's this negative legal paperwork, 35 or below Scorpio masculine, that um, it doesn't sound like you were expecting or wanting, and you're about to get it. So you plug it in, however that resonates, um, if that resonates for you. And also, this could be the negative work issues, because uh, some of you guys are about to have negative work issues. Um, some are about to have positive. It sounds like positive work changes. Some are about to have negative. So this could be maybe coworkers. Um, Maybe backbiting behind your back, talking nasty about you, um, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. I mean, we all have those kind of situations, to be honest with you. We all go through those those kind of things. We all do. Everybody, I think, experience back, experiences backbiting in one aspect of their life, whether it's not toxic family, coworkers, jealousy, um, crazy ex-lovers, um, whoever, um, negative energy kind of situations but um yeah so you plug it in how it resonates yikes table hard work ahead hard work ahead
A particular surprise letter from the IRS for one particular Scorpio. You're about to be shocked. Okay, I heard a particular surprise letter from the IRS. Um, for one of you guys, you're about to be shocked. So some kind of surprise letter from the IRS. Now, for anybody who doesn't know, when you get a physical letter in the mail from the IRS, whoever this is, Scorpio is, they either reside in the United States or they used to reside in the United States. Um, masculine or femme, um, whoever that Scorpio is. But when you, you don't get communication from the IRS unless it's in the mail, is what I'm trying to say. So when you get this legal letter-headed letter from the IRS in the mail, that's serious, serious, serious stuff. Now, I heard you're about to be shocked. So I don't know if it's going to be positive or negative communication from the IRS, but the, uh, the IRS does not communicate with you unless they have to or they um, unless it's serious. So I'm feeling it's very, very, very serious, whether it's on the positive spectrum or the negative spectrum. Um, whoever that one particular Scorpio is for, um, that's for. That could be the hard work ahead too. I'm feeling maybe some of you guys owe taxes. I feel like you owe taxes. Um, possibly. Um, you plug it in how it resonates. Because there's a reason you're about to get official communication from the IRS. They don't reach out unless usually you owe money. Or there's some kind of investigation going on or something. A particular Scorpio is about to really, really, really evaluate who's really in their life. Somebody has some very low vibrational people. They know they do. About to weed them out. Okay. So whoever you are, um, you're about to really reevaluate um, the people in your life, basically. Um, I think in this aspect, um, I, it's in your, you have allowed them in your own life. You've allowed them in your own life. I think in your own personal life, you have free willingly allowed these people in your own life. Feel backbiting energy, gossip energy. Maybe it's, um, toxic lovers. Uh, maybe the sex was great, but just cause the sex is great. I mean, people put black magic on the shit and that's just the truth. They put black magic on their shit, um, for sex sometimes to make it seem great, um, to make you coming back for more. Um, I'm not saying this is that, but it could be for some. Um, there's a reason why you're allowing toxic people in your life, whoever this is for. Um, whoever, I mean, just might be for one of you guys. Um, but you, whoever you are, you're about to really reevaluate. You're about to reevaluate who's in your life because I think you're about to experience drama from these people. Um, that's why I don't allow anybody in my life. Anybody, period. Um, unless I want you here, period. Because the drama starters, shit starters, shit talkers, um, liars, manipulators. I mean, those people exist in the world and that's just the truth. I mean, codependent people leech off people and that's just the truth. They leech, leech, leech off people, period, period, bar none. Fly a period of ill health and depression. A Scorpio is about to find out that a Libra feminine was a huge, 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 huge manipulator. Huge manipulator. Really used a family member in a very abusive way. You have a huge decision to make with this person. Be wise with it. Okay, so you plug it in how it resonates, Scorpio Masculine. Whoever you are, you're Scorpio Masculine. I heard you're about to learn out, uh, learn that it sounds like your family member, uh, one of your family members is a Libra Femme. They could have Libra in their Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North, Moon, Haven, and Jupiter charts, however that resonates. But I heard basically you're about to learn this person is was hugely codependent and was a huge moocher and leecher, I heard, off another family member. No, I didn't hear the sign of the other family member. 
um, that she was mooching and leeching and being extremely codependent off of. Um, but she was off at least one family member, whoever this person is, and how they resonate. But um, I heard you're about to learn it and you're about to have a huge decision to make. So I'm thinking your huge decision to make is whether to allow them in your life, keep them in your life, Scorpio, or to release them out of your life, um, or um, to maybe, maybe you need to report them. For some, maybe you need to report them. Maybe they're a criminal. Um, because huge moocher and leech, they, I'm thinking fraud, theft, um, something of that nature. Like fraud, theft, criminal acts is what I'm thinking. So for some, you might feel the need to um, report them officially to wipe your hands of it for like accomplice energy since you're about to find this out, possibly. Um, I'm strongly feeling this could be for that Libra Femme. But you plug it in how it resonates. And that could be the reclaim your power too. You're reclaiming your power against this person, possibly. Now, whoever this person is, I mean, um, she used a family member, but she might be your family member, or she might be your lover, or she might be a co-worker, a current co-worker, a neighbor, etc., etc., etc. But um, she, um, she definitely used a family member, for sure. And I think financially. I'm thinking fraud, theft, something like that. I didn't hear that. That's what I'm thinking. A period of ill health and depression. A particular... Sexually transmitted disease is about to become very significant in a Scorpio's life. And a Scorpio is about to have a huge wake-up call that they have been dealing with some with one, one succubus energy, some two plus succubus energies. Oh, my Lord. So you plug it in, how it resonates. Um, okay, so a sexually transmitted disease is about to become significant in one of you guys' lives. I think you're about to acquire the sexually transmitted disease or you already have it and maybe you're um, about to receive treatment um, or plan on receiving treatment to um, treat this sexually transmitted disease. However, this re resonates and applies in your life, Scorpio. That could be causing the period of ill health and depression, possibly for some, um, learning that you have the STD or about to learn you have the STD. Um, how that resonates um, in one's life. And I'm feeling hopefully treatment, maybe for some of you guys, treatment, hopefully treatment, um, if this resonates. Now, I didn't hear what kind of STD it is. Some STDs are more, more serious than others, and that's just the truth. Some are more serious than others. Um, so whatever that is, excuse me, whatever that is and how that applies in one's life. Generosity. Someone, not a Scorpio, after many series of chain of events, and they come into wealth, they are about to give to the community in a huge way. One of these people is about to, is about to create a, a charity, a wonderful idea for a charity. It's about to shock you. Okay, so it doesn't sound like it's you, Scorpio. It sounds like it's somebody else. Um, it sounds like somebody's about to come into a large amount of money. Um, now, how have they come into this money? I'm not sure. Wills, settlement, inheritance, etc., etc., etc. I'm not sure how they're about to come into this money, but they are about to come into the money. Um, whoever this person is and how they apply. But um, it sounds like they're going to... It sounds like a very large amount of money, so much so they're going to be able to give back to the community. Um, generosity, generous spirit to the community. Um, I heard um, they're about to come up with a very creative, wonderful idea. I saw that after they get this money, excuse me, very, very, very large amount of money and come up with some kind of wonderful creative idea for a charity. But it's, it sounds like a creative, unique idea for their community to help their community in some shape, form or fashion. I heard it's going to shock you. Um, so maybe it's going to shock you that they're being so generous to their community. I, I don't, 
I mean, I don't know. Only you know your story, not anybody else. Or are going to shock you of the creative, wonderful ideas that they have for this charity and for this idea for their community. It sounds like uh, obviously a spirit of giving and giving back and chair like true charity and generosity. It sounds like they're going to have more and more and more than enough. And they're going, going to want to share it with their community, but they're not only going to want to share it with their community. They are, they have wonderful creative juices and ideas inside themselves that they're about to display and share with the community, not only their money, but their time and their energy and their creative ways to help their community which is beautiful i mean it really is i heard it's going to shock you so you plug it in how it resonates a particular scorpio has been praying that a fire sign moves soon they're about to pray that a air sign moves through many series of chain of events okay so you plug it in how it resonates I heard a, whoever you are, Scorpio, if this resonates with you, I heard you've been praying. So it sounds like you have been praying and wishing and praying and wishing and praying and wishing that uh, basically um, a, a fire sign would move. They would, it sounds like move out of your vicinity or location, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Um, it sounds like you have been trying to manifest this secretly inside yourself. Um, it sounds like you've been secretly praying for this, praying, praying, praying. Um, but I heard soon, it sounds like the energies are about to shift and you're about to wish this on an air sign. Now, whoever this air sign is, it could be masculine or femme fire sign, masculine or femme Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. They could have Aries, Leo, Sag in their sun, moon, rising, Venus, or femme, men, Halo, Jupiter charts. That's the one you were. It sounds like you have been wishing, 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 wishing for this person to move, to move. It doesn't sound like you've been telling anybody or maybe a select few, uh, but I don't feel you've been telling the universe that you wish this person would move. But soon you're about to wish this air sign would move through many series of chain of events. So something's about to happen. This air sign is very significant and you are pulling in Aquarius and um, Libra and energy in your four signs that you're heavily dealing with here. Cancer, Aquarius, um, Pisces, and Libra. So two of the four air signs here. Um, it might be a Gemini for some of you guys, but you're strongly pulling in Aquarius and Libra in your four main signs over here. So you plug it in how it resonates, but it is an air sign. Um, a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. They can have Gemini, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius in their sun, moon, rising, Venus, North, and Maintain with Jupiter charts. I heard you're about to, through many series of chain events, you're about to pray they will move. So in the past, it sounds like you were praying this fire sign would move, but it sounds like energies have shifted or they're about to shift. And now you're about to pray the air sign is going to, uh, will move. Um, it sounds like something big's about to happen with this air sign between you and this air sign, or something's about to big about to happen to this air sign, either in a positive or negative aspect. Um, it doesn't sound like the relationship is positive there between you and the air sign. Um, I'm just keeping it above. I'm serious. Um, whoever that you are, Scorpio, they can have Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, and their sun, moon, rising, Venus, North, and Midheaven, Jupiter, Jupiter charts. If that resonates with you, um, if that resonates for you. Wisdom. Psychic abuse is about to become significant. Protect your energy. Succubus energy. Oh my lord, wow. I heard psychic abuse is about to become significant. Protect your energy. So at least one of you guys is a psychic. And I'm serious about that. I think you're a psychic medium. And I'm I'm not being funny. I'm being serious. That was a spiritual download. I think you're a psychic. Um I, you might get clairaudient messages, clairvoyant messages, dreamscape messages, um, spirit, spiritual downloads. I mean, you get spiritual freaking downloads, just for real for real. Um you're a true psychic. Whoever, I mean, with, whether you're more on the clairaudient side, clairvoyant side, dreamscape side, I don't know. But you're a true psychic. I heard psychic abuse is about to become significant. So I think one of you guys, and I heard succubus energy. I heard succubus energy in here earlier. Now, for anybody who doesn't know, succ there's succubuses are female. Okay, there's incubus and succubus energies. Succubus energies are, the, are female humans that conjure up sex demons onto themselves 
so their sex is good and people want to come back for their sex and more and more and more and more and more. Um, some of these people are prostitutes, their sex is so good. And that's just the truth. Um, but that's how they get people coming back for their sex, whether they're prostitutes or not, because they know their sex is so good because they have conjured up a sex demon on them to make their sex so good. And that's just the truth. Um, I mean, somebody, one of you guys is dealing with the succubus and that is the succubus, which is the female human that conjures up the sex demon upon themselves. Some of you guys is dealing with two plus succubuses. So somebody has been really hanging around some very low vibrational dark arts connoisseurs. Feminine dark arts connoisseurs. Because the masculines are called incubuses. The feminines are called succubuses. Some of you guys, I feel you're dealing with one feminine succubus that has already conjured up a sex demon on them for some two plus. Um, and I feel you've had sex with them or you're planning on having sex with them. And I mean, I'm, I'm just being serious. I'm, I'm serious. Somebody is their picker, their attractor picker is off. It's way, way off. Um, but one of you guys is a psychic. I think you're a psychic and you have psychic medium abilities. I think this succubus or succubuses knows you have psychic abilities. They, I think they have strategically been having sex with you or they want to have sex with you. So they can suck your psychic abilities from you. I mean, cause that's a huge reason why succubus and incubuses, why they seek out um, gifted people, um, people with abilities like me, like one of you guys, um, et cetera, et cetera. So they can suck their abilities from the, the person through means of sex magic. And I'm serious. I'm serious. One of you guys, you're already dealing with the succubus and they're already been siphoning your um, abilities through sex, or you're about to be dealing with one. For some, you're dealing with two plus. So you plug it in, how it resonates. That could be the wisdom too. Maybe you didn't realize you were dealing with um, such heavy succubus energy. Um, Whoever these succubuses are, succubus or succubuses are, um, they have free willingly conjured these sex demons upon themselves. And I'm being serious. Maybe you're about to, you have already learned the wisdom that they are succubuses, and maybe you're going to separate yourself away from them, or you're about to learn they're succubuses, and maybe you're going to take great action to separate away from them. How will that resonate? Wisdom. And that could be the period of ill health and depression, too. Um, realizing that these people are wanting to have sex with you or they've already had sex with you to um, siphon your psychic medium abilities. And I'm being serious about that. Um, I'm serious. Um, and some, I feel they've already given you an STD or they're about to because we have STD energy in here as well with the reclaim your power. I mean, it's all over the place in here. And someone's working against you behind your back. Succubuses never, never, never mean positive for their people, their sexual partners. Yes, usually their sexual partners keep coming back for more and coming back for more and coming back for more, but it's because they're so addicted to the sex. Has anybody seen Game of Thrones? Game of Thrones with the redheaded um, demon lady. Um, I forget her name, but she has fiery red hair and she is a, she's a succubus. She's a succubus on there, but she has fiery red hair and you see her in the movie i mean in the sorry not the movie the tv show she's usually naked a lot of times because she when she has sex with people that's how she lures people in with her sex magic she's a succubus um i forget her name but she has fiery red hair but when you see her like reflections in the show she comes off as an old lady well just saying just saying because Things aren't what they seem. And that's just the truth. A Scorpio public defender is about to really, really, really step up and help a feminine energy out in a huge way. Okay, wow. I heard a Scorpio public defender is about to really, really help out and uh, step up and help out a feminine energy in a huge way. Um, so public defender Scorpio, whoever you are, um, you're an attorney, uh, whoever you are, uh, public defender Scorpio, you're about to step out and help out 
of them energy in a huge way. So congrats to you, public defender Scorpio. Let me see if I hear anything else. I just heard pull a kipper. Lots of truth is about to come out very soon. Lawsuits are about to come from a very serious situation of a past in the community. Secret seven situation. Holy crap. Wow. Holy crap. Wow. So you plug it. I heard secret seven. Um, so you plug it in how it resonates. I heard a lot of truth is about to come out soon regarding some, the secret seven situation in a community. Now, you know, the original Secret 7 situation happened in Huntsville, Alabama, but they covered that shit up, and they covered that shit up, and they covered that shit up. But then it, it created a snowball effect to have many Secret 7 situations in many areas and towns and cities and provinces, et cetera, et cetera. Um, so I, I'm thinking it's the original Secret 7 one in Huntsville, Alabama, but it really could be any. But I heard lots of truth is come, about to come out, and, law, and when a lot of, it sounds like publicly, um, sounds like publicly, finally. Um, and it's about to create a lot of lawsuits. It's about to create a lot of lawsuits. So you plug it in, how it resonates. There's about to be one very particular lawsuit against two family members. Huge lawsuit. And one lawsuit between two ex-co-workers. Wow. Okay, so two huge particular lawsuits in here. Maybe you're going to be in one of these lawsuits, Scorpio, or maybe you're going to be a public defender that's going to help one of these people in the lawsuits. I'm not sure. You Only you know your story, not anybody else, Scorpio. Uh, either you're high vibrational or you're not. I'm not sure. Only you know your story, not anybody else. But um, there's two going to be two huge lawsuits in this in Secret 7 Truths about to come out. It sounds like publicly. Um, I've been waiting for this moment. For a hot minute, and I'm just being serious. I've been waiting, waiting, waiting for this moment um, for the original one, and I'm serious. But it sounds like it's about to happen. Um, very loud and proud. Finally, it should have happened years ago, in my opinion. But it sounds like it's about to happen. But anyways, two particular lawsuits about to come of this. Two, two huge, two huge ones. I heard one between a family member and a family member, and one between a ex coworker and ex coworker. So. You plug it in how it resonates. And we pull marriage and mature woman upright. Number three or six could be very significant numbers in one's life. Three or six. It could be possible ages of you or somebody you're connected to. Possible lottery number. Possible date of birth number. Possible green card number. Possible jersey number. Three or six. Marriage. One Scorpio that is in an open marriage. The partner is about to tell you they do not want an open marriage. It is about to piss you off. And one Scorpio wants to marry somebody and be in an open marriage, but this person does not want an open marriage. Know this. Okay, so, ooh, so you plug in how it resonates. So this is at least for two of you guys. And one younger Scorpio is about to get married. Very monogamous. Okay, so three, three. So you plug in how it resonates. Well, congrats to the younger Scorpio that's about to get uh, married. Very monogamous. Congrats to you, um, whoever you are. Um, younger in the throw, I deem it's like 35 or below. But you plug in how it resonates. Um, but for the other two of you guys, one of you guys is already in an open marriage, it sounds like. But your married spouse is about to tell you they don't want an open marriage and it's about to piss you off. That's for one. For another one of you guys, um, you want to get married to somebody, but you want an open marriage. But they don't want an open marriage. So maybe you didn't know that about them. You plug it in how it resonates. And then a younger Scorpio, I heard you're about to get married soon. Either you're engaged or you're about to get engaged. Um, how that resonates. and um, um, artists can be very monogamous. So congrats to that. Um, congrats to that. Um, I love it. Hopefully twin flame energy there. Hopefully uh, I'm feeling kind of twin flame energy there. I hope, um, I hope, I 
believe in twin flames very much, but twin flame dynamic can get toxic as well. You have to grow and manifest it and hone it in a positive way, just like anything in your life. So um, congrats. I wish you the best, younger Scorpio that's about to get married. Mature woman. A grandmother is about to become very significant in a Scorpio's life. A Scorpio grandmother is about to become very significant in someone's life. Okay, so you plug it in how it resonates. I heard a grandmother is about to become very significant in a Scorpio's life. And um, a Scorpio grandmother is about to become very significant in someone's life. So you plug it in how it resonates. A uh, mature woman in this situation is either you, Scorpio grandmother, about to become very significant in someone's life or a grandmother of any sign about to become significant in your life, whoever you are and how this applies in your life. A Scorpio is about to shock the hell out of everybody and reveal a fraud. Libran and Pisces energy. The best route. Okay, wow. I heard a Scorpio is about to shock the hell out of everybody and reveal a fraud. Um, Scorpio, I mean, not Scorpio, um, Libran and Piscean energy. So whoever you are, Scorpio, I mean, you could be masculine or femme, whoever you are, um, I feel you're mature um, to reveal this fraud or to reveal this fraud. Um, absolutely. Um, now you could be 25, 35, 45, 55, 65, 75, et cetera, et cetera. But you are taking on mature energy. It's not about your physical age. It is about your mental capacity. Um, but you are about to put your big girl panties on, your big boy pant pants on, however that resonates. And you are about to um, um, reveal this fraud, uh, whether it's a Piscean, a Libra, or they have Piscean and Libra in their, it's one person and they have Piscean and Libra in their charts. Um, I feel it can either be two separate people, only you know your story, not anybody else. It, it can be two separate people that Pisces or Libra in their charts, or one person that has Pisces and Libra in their chart. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Wolf, Moon, 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 Jupiter charts. Um, but I think you're taking on mature energy, whether you are a femme energy or a masculine takes on femme energy. However, that resonates and applies in one's life. But you're about to reveal a fraud. Um, and I think I heard thief in there too, I think. I think, I think it was fraud and thief. So you plug it in how it resonates. Maybe they've stole from you. Maybe they frauded you. Maybe they frauded you. Uh, or maybe they frauded somebody else or stole from somebody else. I'm not sure, but it sounds like you're about to step up. Um, and that's really beautiful. So you plug it in how it resonates. A significant wildfire is about to become very significant in a Scorpio's life soon. And a settlement is about to become very significant in a Scorpio's life soon. Okay, so you plug it in how it resonates. I heard a significant wildfire is about to become significant in a Scorpio's life soon and a settlement, significant settlement. Is about to become significant in Scorpio's life too. So a wildfire. Now, maybe you're the firefighter in the wildfire. Maybe you have land that's in this wildfire. Maybe you um, are the news reporter reporting this wildfire. I'm not sure, but somehow you are about to be connected to a significant wildfire. It's about to become significant to you. However, that resonates. Um, and for another one of you guys, a uh, settlement is about to become significant. Now, whether it's your settlement or you know this person that's about to get a settlement. Or you're about to help this person get a settlement. How this resonates. But a settlement is about to become very significant in a Scorpio's life as well. Whatever role and spectrum you're on in this end to, for this settlement. Maybe you're about to write a statement to help somebody get a safe, uh, settlement. I'm not sure. Uh, only you know your story, not anybody else.
Okay. I didn't hear anything else. All right, you guys. Well, I love you guys so very much. Everybody make wonderful choices and namaste. Oh, one more. Sorry. Someone of your past is about to completely change their look and their life and their home. They're about to make it very public. For some, you will be happy. For some, you will be pissed. You really tried to block this person in the past. Okay, so you plug it in how it resonates. Um, Scorpio, um, I heard um, someone of your past. So it's not somebody you're currently connected to. It's not these succubus, crazy, black magic, dark arts, chickadoos you're currently connected to or recently in the recent past connected to. It's somebody of your past. I feel past past energy here. Um, but you plug it in how it resonates. But it's somebody you tried to block in the past for some. For some, I heard you're going to be very happy, this person. They're about to change their whole look, life, and home i heard and they're going to make it very public so i think they have a public platform or they're about to create a public platform that is going to show their new look their new life their new um maybe they got a new home or they're renovating their home but somehow they're about to change either renovating their home or moving homes um they're going to change their look so i'm thinking maybe new skincare products or new haircut or um May, uh, maybe Dermabond, I mean, not Dermabond, but Dermabrasion or something of that nature. Um, something, somehow they're going to change their look. Somehow they're going to change their, they're going to change their life um, in some shape, form, or fashion. Um, but they're going to make it very public. So that's why I think they already have a public platform or they're about to create a new public platform or create a public platform to show off the newness. Um, but it's, for some of you guys, you'll be very happy that this person, it is somebody of your past. You're going to be very happy they're doing this. For some, you're going to be pissed because you tried to block this person in the past. So however that resonates. Only you know your story, not anybody else. All right. I love you guys so much. Everybody made wonderful choices. I hope this helped. Happy Easter and namaste.